Yo, what's going on guys? Chase More Please here. Today I will be bringing you guys uh, Vi God. I haven't been playing Vi very much recently, but I really enjoy her state in the middle right now. Fun to play. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to just perform in snowball games and carry to your highest potential. And the matchups we have for today, Fizz versus Nasus top lane. Kale in the jungle versus me. This is the main person you want to focus on early on into the game. I started Q on accident. I'm going to get into On to the matchups, Fizz versus Nasus top lane, Kale versus Vi. Now, something I, I kept in mind is that Kale has a pretty weak clear. As you can see, she's already, she cleared race and then red, and she's already low. I play a bit of Kale, so I already know that she struggles early on into the clear. So what you want to do versus champions who struggle early is just invade them. And when you do that, they will struggle to get ahead after that. If you're able to get a kill or just drop some pressure and cause a bunch of people to run through their lanes, level 2, level 3, they'll end up losing in the end. So, Malzahar mid lane versus Galio. I didn't really focus too much mid. I probably should have and tried to just get the first tower here. Uh, Kog'Maw versus Jinx, AD Carry, and Lux versus Janna. I end up getting my red buff here all I really did was just simple I cleared my whole side right here I recommend you guys just get every single uh, bit of levels that you can just to try and get to level six as fast as possible and doing all of these camps all three on your bot side does drop you a bit low as you can see but I just aim to go and get scuttle crab as well you can also just not start Q and be a little bit healthier as well so let's go ahead and turn the fog of war to the other side uh, as you can see, bot lane, that's where Kale is. I said that kind of weird, but yeah. Um, she just went back. I'm just trying to check and see where she is exactly, trying to get an eye on her. She wasn't topside in that bush, just camping like a lot of junglers do. Nasus ended up coming down here to help me out. And I was able to pick up this blue buff. She's not here to secure it, which was a mistake by her going against Va. And... I'm just pinging this right now, but Nasus ended up running away for whatever reason. But I'm just able to camp this Kale and invade her very early. She didn't expect it, <laughs> and I ended up flashing. So really, that's good because I did flash trying to uh, secure the kill and I already had it. But I flashed away from Fizz, who doesn't have flash as well. So that's something you want to keep in mind. So I was able to safely get out of there. So just knowing the matchup. Is something that you could end up doing and learning as much as you you play Vi. If you play a lot of Vi games, play against the champions, you'll obviously end up learning. You can also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell because I make a lot of guides and informational content. And I also have a mobile fire guide on Vi in the description. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and speed this up. The runes and masters that I'm running as well are just my Udir runes and i really feel like those are so universal whenever you play jungle because the move speed quints i'm just so used to playing with move speed and whenever they decide to nerf these quints because they're gonna get nerfed 100 percent when they rework the rune system so right now i'm just making sure to abuse it move speed quints attack damage or attack speed marks let's let's speed or let's back this up attack speed marks armor seals and scaling cdr blues with i, I believe Three MR Quint, something like or MR Quint. Three scaling MR glyphs. So yeah, I'm coming in to gank this lane. All right, so let's just logically think about what's going on here. I'm running up to this lane. I have my Q charged, and meanwhile Lux is just sitting there, and she's looking to aim her Q, and she, it looks like she's just aiming it up right now, just to think in her feet. And since I'm already winding this, I can just hit Q. And by the time this projectile does decide to fly, which is whenever she does hit Q, obviously, <laughs> it's going to still hit me on the way, but I'll still travel. So I'm going to break it down a different way and just show you guys how this really makes a big difference. If you actually get stunned before you activate your Q with Vi, you will not move. You'll just stand there. So it's important for you to actually hit Q before the bind actually gets to you. And as you can see, I was able to gap close very far, and Janna flash queued, Lux flashed away from that, and Kog'Maw also flashes. So, 
We also have a TP coming down on their side. Like, pretty much everybody's down here. But luckily, we have a lot of global presence here as well. So they decided to focus, ja focus Janna here, which is a very bad decision. T uh, Fizz ends up TPing. He E's, tries to Q onto the Janna, but I stop him with my Q. And then we get a flash taunt from Galio. Get this dude killed. Lux is over here missing more binds. Meanwhile, we're getting fla more flashes. We got pretty much three flashes off of this one gank. So, yeah. Just being at the right place at the right time. I'm able to capitalize on all of these guys. And yeah. And I continue to push to this tower. So, I can just jump over the plant. And I don't even think this is warded. It, it looked as if it was warded the way they're running back. Yeah, it was warded. They saw me, but... See, let me go over one more thing as well. Before I even evolve break into that. So, as soon as I jump over the plant, I'm already thinking that Lux is going to try and cue me as to see me. And one thing you want to keep in mind about binds with playing Vi is that it will stop you. It will literally just stop you in place if she were to hit Q right now. She sort of hesitated with her light binding and she stood it, she should have just threw it out right now. But instead, she waits for me to charge my, my thing up. And if you're able to hit Q before this thing hits you, you'll still go. So as you can see, I still traveled the distance while being snared. So I was able to get a lot of damage off. Jenna ends up flash queuing and results in uh, Lux flashing away. We also get Kog'Maw's flash in the process. And Malzar ends up TPing down. Fizz ends up TPing down. Double TP. We also got Galio dropping in with his ulti. And right now, they're deciding to focus channel, which is the worst thing they can do right now. He tries to Q, but I stop it with my Q. And I was just patient for him to do that. And it's really easy to keep up with Fizz when he has no flash. So, Galio's able to flash taunt. We end up fighting these guys. Janna's dodging Lux skill shots over here. I'm gonna go ahead and help her out. The slow is dropped. Easy kills, basically. Just from being aware on what's going on in the map. And this helps me out so much. This snowballs me, because I basically get like two kills, two TPs, three flashes off of one gank. So, yeah. No other way to do it other than that. <laughs> it's crazy. I got a lot off of that. And that's why I just said, oh my god, I forgot. I actually ended up going right back in to kill Kog'Maw. <laughs> like, I thought, <laughs> gotta drop the Master after that. Got to drop that after doing something like that. I really thought that he would have saw me. Let me turn off, or right, switch the Fog of War around. I really thought he would see me. Let me back up again. I'm pretty sure the wave spotted me, but he might have not been paying it too much attention. Because <laughs> I was looking like I was about to go right back in, and I just got out. But yeah, he saw me. I guess he was just a little tilted and annoyed that all of his teammates just died. Because there's a war right here, and he just ends up staying around, sticking around. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Why did he stay? Did he not think he was going to die? I don't know. But that's besides the point. I'll go ahead and take the free kill. So, our blue buff is up right now. This is going to get us level 6. We have around, let's see how much gold we have in the bank. We have 1,500 and 3,200 in total. So, the runes and masteries that I'm running, runes are my Udir runes. I prefer to run move speed quints on by now just to cover ground. Actually, that didn't get me level 6. But I prefer to use that because I have a feeling that once the new runes come out, they're going to nerf move speed quints or they're, they're, they're going to do something to it. They might just take them out the game. I have no clue. But I feel like they're going to take a hit somehow. So I'm going to go ahead and abuse them and use them on the junglers that can sufficiently take advantage of it. And move speed, man. Move speed is life for me. That's just how I play the game. And also attack speed marks armor seals and i believe oh, i'm not too sure for the i'm not too sure what exactly i'm running for my glyphs i believe it's somewhere around uh just scaling cdr with yes i think it's six scaling cdr glyphs and wow well, barely <laughs> barely and three mr scaling or mr per level glyphs but yeah <laughs> my uh, masteries 
My masteries will be on my mobile fire. God, I'm running Thunderlords. That's all I really know. Sorry I didn't really research too much on what I'm running for this video, but I did remember to keep them in mind, at least. So my future videos, I'll do better on just keeping them on hand. Because it's something easy and simple that I can explain and give you guys information on. And right now, Kale is showing bot side. Or she's not showing bot side, but she is bot side. I'm going to turn this off. But I'm wondering why she's not at her blue. And she ends up just clearing red. Everybody's going to go ahead and focus on bot some more. And I'm in the... Like, for me sitting in this jungle and trying to get her blue. Yeah, I get the blue. But my mid laner misses up on some CS for no real reason. And there's not really much being done right now. I believe that in order to just keep this game on going, I should have just tried and go for a dragon a bit earlier. But I'm just hanging off to the side, man. I really just want a free kill. And she had flash, so there's no real reason for me not to just go ahead and take this. Just go ahead and speed this up. Another free blue. Taking her old jungle. And I see Fizz coming back in the lane, so this is another real free kill since all I have to really do is just wait for him to hit E and that's what I'm doing right here I'm just waiting for him to hit E and there it goes I'm gonna flash Vault Breaker over the wall just so I can make sure to instantly kill him not waste any time on this dude <laughs> and I try and tilt my enemy team and that's what I I aim to do most times you just put him on tilt so yeah we're gonna go ahead and push up to this tower Kale is showing that I'm also bringing more people to this lane. And that's something I noticed that kind of ended up, you know, hurting me. I, I started driving so many people. Like, everybody came to me. Like, I'm driving so much of their attention. And they're all just aiming to try and kill me. But we get an easy kill on Kale. He somehow gets out. And I overcommit a little bit. I'm not too... I didn't know that they were going to all just come and kill me and come for me. I just almost barely got out. <laughs> so, shut down. I got a lot of kills, but for me to get shut down like that and give out that gold, it's not really worth it, especially since I'm a little bit low on farm. I'm actually not too ahead. But what I end up doing is picking up my skirmisher saber and my Tiamat as well. And it sort of goes downhill, but I'm going to just preface right now before anything else happens that you should just aim to get objectives and push these turrets down because nobody has well we got well, yeah nobody has gotten first well never mind we did get first tower that's something you want to prioritize is first tower goal but after that you want to be able to try and take rift hero we want to try and take the earth dragon because earth dragon is priority right next to inferno they're both really important and depending on how you want to go ahead and close out the game is all up to you it's a lot of builds that you can use with bot a lot of people end up going glass cannon like getting a freaking warrior to, uh, triforce and I really don't recommend that because you got to go into the team you got to go deep so yeah I just instantly Q and then vault or uh, yeah vault break and then I go ahead and assault and battery the Lux and she dies get a kill for my jinx TP coming out on their part, so it's time for us to go ahead and dip set out of here. Everybody just keeps following me. Like, jeez, man. And they're really greeting over me. They're they're so thirsty to try and kill me. I think it's my name. I think it's Chase More Please that's really driving them to try and get my my bounty. So she's just still sitting in this tri for or tri bush. And she's still out old. She was holding it, but I'm sure to just wait for my passive. Her, your blast shield will give you a pretty tank or a pretty fat shield. It's honestly, I remember back in the day when Udir's turtle stance was stronger than Vi's walk break or her blast shield. Now, blast shield is stronger than turtle stance. So <laughs> I mean, it's so freaking weird. But I'm a Udir man, so uh, that's a good way for me to reference things. But anyways, that's besides the point. Just uh, greedy, greedy opponents. It's always going to happen. People are always going to throw. And I noticed that nowadays, that's just something that's been happening a lot recently. It's just the clown fiestas that result into throwing the game. And to me, I would always just be having way too much fun. And I would be like, oh my god, I'm doing so much damage. I'm doing so much for my team. And I'm doing this and that. And then I'm not able to close out a game. So, 
it's a struggle. Especially in this ELO. Being in platinum, it, it, people who end up like going all like they they go ham and then they they not be able to finish it out. It's like some things that they don't know that would stop them from actually being able to carry a game. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure to. What I do is actually one of the things I have learned how to do is just kind of estimate how champions move and how fast they are. So now has around 380 move speed. I have 381, so we're about the same. He must have boost or something like that. Yeah, he has upgraded boots, and I don't have that. So I'm really just waiting for him to cross this path. I have no vision on him, as you can see, or as you you're able to see. But since he has that spell of immune passive, I had to Q and then drop my combo. And if I would have had my ulti, I would have been able to finish this guy off. But then he just flashed away, which was unfortunate. <laughs> and I just got my ulti. I just got it. Wait. I don't know. Yeah, I just got. Yeah, I was just getting it. Five. Yeah, I was a little a replay glitch. Reto, please fix. I was about to go over there and try and kill Fizz, but he knows better. So we got bot turrets. That's great. We got Malzahar's flash as well, so that's also good. We're also able to pick up this dragon from what I just did. And there you go. I'm looking to kill somebody. <laughs> this is a, this is actually pretty greedy by me. I didn't know where everybody was. This is where I think it started going down here for me. Like when I threw the game, it was basically here because I wasted my flash and my vault breaker, or not my vault breaker, and my assault and battery. And you really don't want to do that unless you know it's a for sure kill. A lot of people don't say that. Like when you know that you do have these combos up. Like when you waste assault and battery and flash, and you don't get a kill, you don't get anything out of it. You just fall, you fall behind. It is really no other way to explain it. But these are two super long cooldowns. And that's how you gap close. So you really just need to know what to do. So yeah, that's really all you want to make sure you don't do. <laughs> like, that's the main thing. Like, if I were to give you guys a tip on what not to do and what not to actually, like, end up throwing the game on. Or, you know, just some general advice. Don't use your assault and battery and flash and your Q and go in and not get anything out of it, cause you, it, it's really bad. Take it from me, I've been playing Vi for so long. That's probably the worst thing you can do. So yeah, I'm really just waiting to try and get out of here. I could also engage because I always just know that people underestimate my blast shield, my um my extra tankiness but fortunately we get Fizz killed because he ends up getting a little greedy we ended up getting him taunted under the tower so that's really good for us so as they're sieging we're wave clearing very well I'm sure to just go ahead and try and heal up some more and my items I think I touched on this Garmin Shisabra's Hindle Hulk is very good on her and then I'm aiming for a Titanic Hydra right after I'm also stacking up my Jaren's Fist health and getting out in the field and staying out with this item is good because you can just stack up your HP. Your Tiamat is also good for dropping extra combos and getting damage off quicker. It's like an auto attack reset if you use it right. And like I said before on when it comes to people being isolated and people leaving their team to die, it happens a lot. So you just need to be looking on the map and waiting for them to just abandon each other. And as you can see, I just got an easy kill. Easy kill. Off for my Galio. Nasus just got top. So that's pretty good. But the thing is, is that Nasus is always splitting where we're not pressuring another lane. If he were to not die so much like he is now, and we would actually be... Like, if he were to just be pushing, like, right here, and that happened while we were already at mid, that would be good. But you will see later on in this game that he doesn't really split push at the right time. Which is not horrible because he is Nasus and at the end of the day, if he is just, like, he's similar to Singe as well. If he's just sitting up there top lane, it's not horrible because he's able to inevitably get stronger. <laughs> I, I try to pronounce that right, guys. I try. But yeah, he's going to end up getting stronger. 
so it's whatever. But the main thing is, you just want to try and get level 18 as soon as possible. It's similar to when you were rushing level 6 early on into the game. If you're able to just get a lot of levels and keep going and never give up, because there will be times in game when you're just behind, you're not doing all that well, and it'll be a lot of times for me when I'm just not able to keep getting advantages. Like now, I'm 6-1-5. I'm trying to pressure my lead as much as I possibly can, but... It's kind of hard because the team or the enemy team is always sure to try and hold their towers. They're also not really too vulnerable. So I'm just trying to capitalize as much as possible. I was trying to go in on him right here, but I missed. And good thing I did. I guess I sort of baited my jinx by going in, but that's just what I do. I'm super tanky. She didn't have to get hit by in this queue and get double ulted. So there's nothing you can really do about that. So right now we just need to wait. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for my red buff. But Nasus is also just pushing top. He needs to back off. Because there's no way we can get any objectives. Like we have no jinx. Like she's our he, she's gonna take our towers for us. Our AD carry is dead. So there's no reason for him to be up here unless he just wants to die. Which is apparently what he just wants to do is die. So that's why I preach to <laughs> just keep in mind of where the enemy team is. Where everybody is at. I'm just trying to get something out of this, but I'm not able to other than this red buff. But I'm also keeping in mind that Kog'Maw is pushing this lane, so that I actually am able to get something out of this. So red buff is up, Kale is MIA, and Kog is all alone. I got wards to do this as well. Be sure to just keep wards on you. I'm pretty sure I always keep a pink ward on me as much as I possibly can. I don't know if this is mine or not. But yeah, this is a win-win situation for me because got the ward coverage. I know Kog'Maw has no other choice other than to run through here and look for red because that's what a lot of AD carriers do whenever this thing spawns. They're like, oh my god, I gotta go get red. It's my life. And then I just I already preemptively hit Q because I know he's gonna run through here. And yeah, he borks me. No point in him doing that. Hit the rest, might. And he almost got away, so I just hit uh, R. And we also get Fizz's TP or somebody's TP. I'm not too sure. So he canceled it anyway, so whatever. So like I said, win, win, win. I got a red buff, got a kill. Oh, I thought Dragon was up. That's why I said win, win, win. <laughs> but yeah, we got the 6k gold lead. It's not a huge gold lead at all. So I just can't wait for you guys to see how this game ends up playing out. And like I mentioned earlier, I've started to master just the pathing of enemy champions and what they're going to do and try to predict their next move. I'm just trying to stay a step ahead, a step or two ahead. As you can see. And that's why I stand off to the side. There's no wards over here. And Lux is basically a free kill. Or a free vault breaker. Because I know she's just going to walk across this path. Don't even need the ward. So I just I'll go ahead and drop my combo. Like I said. Q auto attack E. Ch major chunk. You can also combo that with your Tiamat. And then you go ahead and get that kill. And once you get Titanic Hydra, which I already have, it's a lot stronger than Tiamat. It chunks people. You just delete people. And I, that's why I like that item on Vi. It's really fun to play with as well. So, yeah. Damn, got his flash. <laughs> yeah, Miles are flash off of that. And that looked weird, but it worked. So, I don't know why this dude is just <laughs> sitting there on the tower and looking at me. Because I'm just going to end up doing that. He was all alone. He just flashed. So I, I had the freedom to just go ahead and flash onto him. Easy kill. So yeah, unfortunately Jinx was... I don't know why Jinx was not here. Like, honestly, I think we could have got like a lot more if Jinx would have been at this tower with us. But she decided to split off. I noticed that a lot too. When people don't group at the right time, we can do a lot more as five. Especially since we're all strong right now. We probably could have got another mid turret. Even though Kale wasn't there, you, you can keep that in mind too. Damn. I don't know what's happening here. Wait, I'm the only one going for an objective. I'm the only one going for Dragon. <laughs> Meanwhile, who knows what they're aiming to do. Wait, as, as long as you're focused on what you need to do, you'll be fine for the most part. Because people are always going to throw. People are always going to do stupid crap. So that really doesn't give you any 
windows to do anything bad for your team. So it's just simple as that. So yeah, see that this is actually a, a big mistake by me. <laughs> I'm glad that I actually I can actually cover this because I mean I thought somebody would end up helping me out here or like TP to the tower or give me some assistance because we had two TPs though we got double TP on this team and I'm pinging this tower I think I pinged this tower but I didn't really one thing I didn't really keep in mind of where Kale was I didn't know Kale was right here I really didn't. If I would have known, I wouldn't have went all in on Fizz. Because I would have been able to kill him by myself. But unfortunately, I ran into kill. They get my shutdown, so that's really bad. So yeah. They end up getting the tower out of this. And they end up pushing even harder to get another tower. So that's my that's my mistake. You know, I, I can't perfectly play this game. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm going to fuck up eventually, so... The main place where I did mess up is just me not being able to farm enough. If I were to just go and try and hold this tower, even though it wouldn't have been possible because Kale's already roaming up anyways, if I were to just farm, maybe stay on my, get my blue buff, something like that, do something else, just get my CS up, then I would have been in a better spot. So yeah, a lot of us, it took a lot of us to come here. Actually, I didn't even need to come here. We lost mid in the process. So as you can see, just losing a, two towers like that, they ended up putting the gold lead. We were just 6k ahead, and now we're only about 4k, if you round it up. And then they have more towers. They just got their first two towers. So just from those simple things there, we could have just ended the game so easily, so simply, by just denying them and not giving them any way to get back into this game. But you know, things happen. Stuff happens. So you want to know how to handle everything. And you guys will see that the, the enemy team don't take them for granted because they ended up capitalizing. So yeah, I missed my Q, but I'm not. That's a, This is a really good team fight for me because I ended up dropping my respawn on this guy. They're focusing him down. Nasus is able to finish him off all by himself. And yeah, easily kill these guys. They really can't fight us right now, and especially since we noticed that Kale was split in bot lane for no reason. This is easy for us. So after this, this is screaming Baron buff. This is screaming a Baron call. So that's what I'm going to be looking to get very soon, is Baron. Since we're able to just fight them off and fend them off like this. And yeah, <laughs> freaking Janna is solo in this Lux. And after we do that, I just spam ping the Baron. And this is what keeps us in the game. If we wouldn't have got this Baron, then I don't know what would have happened. Honestly, don't. But it's like, we're so far ahead right now, we shouldn't have threw. And I feel kind of bad for throwing. <laughs> well, you know, that it happens. Let me just stop mentioning it. <laughs> but it happens. You know, that's one thing I noticed since past 7.5. I feel like there's always something different for us different patches that you gotta look out for so it's just League of Legends honestly that's just how the game is and I see this fat ass wave top lane so I'm gonna just go ahead and see if I can actually I can't rotate up there cause they drop a blue trinket in here see me going I'm just trying to run the map right now oh, I, oh my god see I even like I'm just rotating man see I, I noticed that they spotted me up here they saw this fat wave so they ended up leaving somebody to go cover this use this use my vision to my advantage I see Kale and Malzahar just do nothing over here so meanwhile I'm just gonna go ahead and flash onto these guys and get a few free kills for my Jinx and we also get a tower off of this too so yeah if I'm able to just keep this up if I just keep up knowing where everybody is and capitalizing on their mispositioning, then that's all you really got to do. You can just keep everything out of your game plan. Or think, keep all of the other crap. You don't have to really stress it. But right now, I see a lot of stuff going down bot lane. And all I'm thinking right now is this top, <laughs> top in hip tower. 
and I'm sure to just keep pushing this lane as they're fighting down here There's no reason for me to help them out Kale is getting super strong right now because Kale that's just what she does and she's a big threat She just scales up super hard. She's one of the strongest late game champions in the game But as that's going down, this is where I am. This is what I'm doing And I start popping off here. I'm I'm trying to get this in him and everybody just interrupts me so I just go ahead and combo this dude straight up. So I kind of messed up the combo there. I could have either just kept going for the inhib or just wait for them to try to... Like, it was two champions coming after me. So I just decided to go ahead and go for the kill. So as you can see, I auto attack and then I hit E. Actually, no, I didn't get to hit E. That's where I messed up. I couldn't part my dent and blows soon enough. He would have died sooner. I would have been able to use more onto this Malzahar. But he still ends up going down anyway. He gets fucking destroyed. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to get this in here. And I, I can't. Because everybody just wants to distract me from doing it. <laughs> Jeez, man. I just 1v3. I'm 1v5 in it, basically. Jeez, man. What the hell? I'm popping off. Go ahead and drop that like if you guys are still sticking around. Because this is a long time to be sticking around. 20 minutes plus... At least because I'm, I'm 29 minutes a game, but I sped it up quite a bit. So it's around 25 minutes, I think. Be sure to drop that support. Very much appreciate it. And subscribe as well. I'm, I'm nearly at 1K. I'll be dropping more champion guys, and I've just been. Only reason why I haven't been really posting much lately is because uh, Udir's changes. He still hasn't gotten an update. And I'm just trying to finish out this game. But people start getting caught. He gets a little too close for comfort. Like, our team fight is so much stronger than theirs, but the thing is that we're just not able to. I don't know. It's just. You gotta see what ends up happening. But I'm really just trying to eliminate all of this in my gameplay. I feel like I'm still rusty overall. But I'm still going for Diamond this season. 100%. Still going for it. I still have around three more months to get it, so. I end up getting this in hip. <laughs> I go in for the kill. I got her ulti. I got a flash from Kogma. I got both the Kogma summoners actually. So I gave up a shutdown for the inhibitor. I just wanted to go ahead and secure that just so I can do other things. So let's go ahead and speed it up here. Nothing really happens while I'm dead, I don't think. Okay, I'm just about to respawn, but actually, no. I don't know why they're fighting here. Like, this is really bad for them to be fighting here. I don't know what's going on. So, Jan ends up dying. Kale comes in. Almost gets snared. And then Jinx dies. And then Nasus dies. And that's just after I get this in hip, too. So, it's like, it's nothing I can really do about that. So, I gotta wait again for these guys to come back up. We gotta rush over here to mid lane and try and defend these towers. I was about to go in. <laughs> I was about to go in and try and kill this Lux. But I might have threw the game if I did. Who knows? I had a flash. Let's see what happens. They're trying to... Yeah, they, they're not able to get this tower. And I tried to just go ahead and get a kill here. But I couldn't quite get onto him. And Kale is just such a threat right now. Like, look at the damage he ends up doing to us. Look at this. Boom, boom. He's dead. I dropped my ult, but here comes Kogma coming back into the mix. She drops her... She drops her ulti. I fell flash over the wall. I almost got away. Like, I wouldn't have fell flash that and got over. That would have been fine. But that's rip. So it's kind of tough. Mid to late game transition is coming through. But meanwhile, that's actually capitalized on this inhib being down and he was able to TP and get a turret so that's good and then new Nasus buff he gets the keep hitting Q oh you almost got that kill <laughs> what the no no <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> oh my god this game I don't know at this point I don't know wait what are they doing what the hell I don't even know this what what? Wow. Why did my team... See, 
I mean, I don't want to keep blaming my team for stuff that goes down like this. But please tell... I didn't even know they were doing this, Baron. It was it was almost a good call, honestly. It was sort of a good call. <laughs> sort of. Because Nas is doing all that stuff. But I'm not... A, actually, no. Let's not even say that. I'm not even alive is the thing. I'm not even alive. So they almost get it. Maybe if Jana... See, if Jana wouldn't have, like, ran away from her, her jinx and, like, abandoned her... If she would have dropped another shield on that, she might have just got that. She might have just got it. That was really close, though. Throw of the century. <laughs> I thought the game would be over at that point, though, because they got the Baron, and then they even up the game like this. And all of that throwing was going down. Everybody was dying at the wrong time. And I'm still, like, I'm 16, 5, and 7. So I just started thinking to myself at this point in the game, I cannot lose this. I would be so on tilt. I wouldn't be able to do much if I if I lost this game. So I just had to make sure to not do anything stupid and make sure to defend everything I had. Because Elder Dragon is coming up very soon, I believe. Yeah, Elder Dragon's coming up soon. This tower is super low. I saw somebody pushing, so I made sure to come down here and try and defend it. And no matter how low these towers are, like they can still sort of be worth defending. But then again, when you know they're about to go down and they're dead, they're dead. But the thing is, with super low towers like like this, late game, people are going to grieve for them. And I don't know what this fist is thinking. He's level 18 to my 17, but he still can't even... He can't He can't fight me. You're a baby shark. You can't handle this. Yeah, go ahead and get on out of here. You ain't ready. You're not ready either, Lux, missing your OC like that. They're not about it. I'm too tanky. That's why I really like this build. Uh, Maw, Deadman's, Titanic... Skirmishers and I got a Negatron going for it. Uh, Gargoyle Stone Plate. And that's really tanky. It gives you a lot of damage with these two items alone. Plus your S might get that extra burn. That's all you need on by. That's all you need. Don't even need Triforce. It's it's healthy. It's a healthier build to actually get a Titanic Hydra because you don't have to worry about oh I gotta get Sheen. Oh I gotta get the Phage. And then I gotta get another component. Which doesn't all help you out too much. It's hard to go try... Like, if you're super ahead, then there's not, nothing wrong with it. But it's like, when you got an uh, auto-attack reset that you can get, you got the, with the Tiamat. Uh, I had no other choice than to go into... I'll get onto my build a little bit later. I have no other choice to, to than to not go into uh, on my KO just, now, uh, just then. But the good thing is, we got our ulti. I couldn't go back in because they all began to start focusing me here. But they almost killed her. If she would have not been in her rocket form, like she would have been, yeah, if she would have stayed in minigun, she probably would have killed her. Or at least switched the minigun uh, quicker, or sooner. But it's kind of hard to do things like that. Especially. Well, yeah, Flash, actually. She could have played that. But Kale is just super strong. So we lose our inhibitor. I really think it was about to be over at this point. But I just got back out. I almost died. If I would have died, it would have been over 100%. So the good thing is I'm able to combo uh, Kog'Maw. And I know that I got to get the hell out of here ASAP. Because I know Kale is just going to destroy me and finish me off. So I cannot stay. I got to run. I got to heal right back up. And get back in the fountain. And try and defend this tower. And we lose it. Yeah, we lose this tower. Actually, we don't. Yeah, we do lose this tower. Nasus ends up getting suppressed right here. And it's just so hard to, like... It's so freaking hard to deal with this KO. Because she's just so strong right now. Late game, full build, pretty much. So we just keep trying to defend, man. It's just a, a struggle right now. But we finally get her. We finally kill her. And once she's dead, that's really the only priority target we gotta deal with. And as you can see, we just end, easily just end them. So yeah, we nearly lost the game there. Nearly. If I would have went down, I was so close to death. But we ended up pulling through. And I also came here for my blue. Didn't even know Fizz was here. But he's really not very strong. I think he, yeah, he is. 
not doing too well. And it's good that I was able to kill him early on because he might have been able to have the damage to kill me here. He's not all that well at or not all that good at the game anyways. So I don't know. <sighs> it was so difficult handling this team and this game and everything on top of that. They just had a really strong late game team comp too. You gotta you gotta keep that in mind too. Like they got a Fizz, Kale, Malzahar, Cog, and a Lux. They're really strong late. So right here, I was trying to get a pick. He wasted his shark. Wasted his ulti. I knew that the whole team wasn't there. That's why I was trying to get a pick here. Kale is all the way at the back. So is Miles Ahar. Lux is coming in. But basically, I flashed out so I don't get binded and killed. So now it's basically a 5v4. It will be a 5v4. And he flashes in gets the taunt. This is a really good fight for us. Because we focus the right targets. I go ahead and go in for this Fizz. Went to our back line. And Jinx is very well protected. She has her GA up, G up still. We end up using that to tank the Mouser ulti. Kale isn't even in this fight. So that's really how we win it so easily. And Kog'Maw's dead. And once she comes in, this is how much of a force the champion is. How strong she is. Once she comes in, everybody just starts going down. Like, she's such a big problem. She is R. He's still swinging. We almost all, like, end up dying. <laughs> but we finally get her. Like, jeez, that's such a relief. She had the... Uh, she had the GA, so she got revived. So we're able to get this Elder Dragon. Go ahead and speed it up here. And we also get Lux killed as well. <laughs> Wait, no, we don't. Well, not quite. Yeah, we do get Lux killed. Because she's greeting right next to Nasus. Drop the mastery. Because I know this game is over by now. And we're, we ace him. So yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay. This commentary. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. Like, comment, any questions you may have. I love your comments and your feedback. And I will be dropping my runes and masteries. And also some other vibe builds. And what I ended up doing this game. And explain some other things. And soon enough, I will be playing the champion a little bit more. Because she's very strong right now. Especially until Deer gets reworked, I'm going to have to be playing some other type of champions. I feel like he's just in a state in the middle right now where I can't even properly climb. Let me speed this up a little bit. Okay, I don't know how he ends up almost getting caught. But oh well. Coming back over. I dropped the... Actually, no. I thought I dropped the war somewhere, but I didn't. I was just hanging out somewhere else. Alright, so our inhib is coming up very soon. That's why I'm not trying to be too aggressive. And our whole team decides to go ahead and capitalize on this Fizz. Trying to end the game, I think. So that's pretty good. Because I don't mind if I'm left alone anywhere. And they try and chase me. Because that's what I do. They chase more, please. So, if my team is just able to kill Fizz and we get something out of it, death timers are so long right now, I'm fine with that. And I'm pretty sure they do end up winning this team fight. And meanwhile, I'm just over here killing the Kog'Maw because, like I said, capitalizing on the enemy team's positioning and how they leave their teammates for dead. He's a very important player right now. Even though he may be 3-9, he's still Kog'Maw. He still spits all over the place. He's still super strong. 15 kill Kel and 10 kill Fizz. They're over here, like on the back lines getting destroyed actually let's see how this fight ended up breaking out so we ended up basically catching Fizz out of position that's just his own Malzahar ends up TPing and now it looks like yeah we get an exhaust on kill that's what ends up happening yeah she ends up ended up yeah she she has to waste all Jinx is still safe keeping our AD safe so that's good Alright. I see. Nice. So that's really good for us. So we're finally, finally able to end the game after all of those throws that I recommend you guys to just keep out, uh, just keep watching out for and keep in mind that a lot of the mistakes you make can be very detrimental. Like I said, like ulting and uh, flashing and wasting those things that'll set you behind, getting caught out and losing a lot of objectives and turrets over that 
one death, like you can have one death or one gank that'd be just super game changing, a counter gank that end up changing the whole pace of the game. And I'm gonna be going over that in my future videos. So, a lot to be said, a lot to be covered. It's just a crazy journey, man. League of Legends is just, oh my god, it's still inducing, but we're gonna be getting through that. So, if you guys will stay tuned for what I have to bring you, which are the builds, runes, masters, all that jazz. Peace. Oh, not peace, but see ya. Alright, guys, so the finishing build that I have for this game, it's simply going to be called a build number three. I have a few builds that I display on Mobile Fire, and I will be just breaking it down later on, but this is what I ended up doing. I, I rushed my, my Bammy Cinder, and then I got my Skirmisher Saber, I believe, something like, yeah, rushed my Bam uh, Bammy Cinder, Skirmisher Saber, got my Cinder Hulk, and then I went... For my Tiamat to try and help my clears out, my damage, and auto attack reset, stuff like that. After that, I went to get my Jerem's Fist so I can start stacking up my passive, get more HP, a little bit tankier. And then after that, I finished up my Titanic Hydra, grab Mercs because of the enemy team. And it's really just dependent on what they have. Like if they have a lot of auto attackers, such as just like uh, Zen Zhao, maybe Jungle, uh, Ezreal, and, or not Ezreal, maybe like a Jinx. And then have like a freaking some other AD top lane. I get tabbies, but since they had Kale, they had Fizz, they had uh, Malzahar, I needed that extra tenacity in the MR. And I also got Maul because of their heavy AP damage, and that shield really helped my ass out a lot. And I also ended up getting Dead Man's Plate after my Maul, which was not bad because of the extra move speed, but it might have been better to get. Gargoyle after so I can get the extra shield and armor and MR but you know regardless it ended up working out Be sure to prioritize what you need first and what you will need in the future After people are just getting their items and just be sure to keep this in mind Even when you're loading in like in game if you need merch or not be sure to keep in mind that like people are gonna end up buying items whoever's fed and has the most damage has the most gold priority in the team to build for them so, yeah, what we're going to be getting on to now are my runes and masteries that I use. And the runes, these are what I run for Udyr, move speed, quince attack, speed, marks, and it looks like I have 9.7 CDR reduction at level 10, so, or at level 18. So that means that I have six of those, six scaling CDR glyphs and three scaling MR glyphs. Armor seals. So yeah, masteries. And this is what I use. Uh, five points in fury, feast, uh, natural talent, which is not necessarily. I don't think Vi even has any AP scale, and if she does, then so be it. But it's probably better to just get the extra vamp. I'll go ahead and do that. I don't think she has any AP scaling, but you know, regardless. It still worked out for me. It's not too much of a big deciding factor. 2% extra life steal. Woohoo, right? I mean, it'll help out. Just go ahead and get the life steal. And Bounty Hunter. You get more uh, attack damage for um, the champions that you kill. So as you can see, if you, you're just out for blood like I was early on into the game, you get a lot more damage. So, Savagery more damage to means and monsters which helps you out with your clears runic affinity also helps you out with your buff stand up longer including baron merciless extra damage to champions under 40 percent dangerous game precision and thunder lord's decree so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy be sure to stay tuned i will be posting more videos and guides and try to help you guys out as much as possible and improve your game peace